All right, I was just about finishing cutting grass, but I have a little bit of patch right there left over. I'll just show you how easy it cuts. It cuts real nice, and it's really not too loud at all. So let me show you real quick. All right, so there we go. Like I just showed you, it cuts really nice. It's pretty quiet, especially compared to a regular gas mower, and it's just as easy to push. So this thing, you just get it out, cut whenever you want. You don't have to think about, you know, getting a little patch like this and run out of gas and have to go into town and get more. For instance, the fuel, you don't have to smell the fumes, have like, you know, grass, green grass gunk all over your legs and all that. It's just a lot cleaner running and, uh, you know, just easier to use. Now, one thing also I want to mention is I told you that the uh, reel to uh, wheel distance here is about three and a half to four inches. So whenever you're cutting next to a sidewalk or something like that, it will leave a little grass there that you have to hit with the trimmer. No big deal if you're going to trim anyway. I mean, you know, that's no problem at all. Okay, one other thing this mower does is every once in a while, if it happens to be a stick in the yard that's decent size or a piece of bark, it may get caught in the reel and then the thing will spin. I'll show you uh, what it does when it gets stuck and then how easy it is to take care of it. All right, so I got a little stick in there. You probably can't see it, but it won't roll now at all. So all they do is when I'm standing there, just roll it backwards a little bit. You can find the stick and just throw it out of the way or throw it in the you know, pile or whatever. And the thing moves again. Really, really simple to take care of. All right, so when I'm done running the mower, I just like to maintain it a little bit. I haven't hooked up the hose this year. You could just spray it off, but what I've been doing is just using this old paintbrush. I just clean off all the grass that collects in there. And you might want to spin the blade a little bit just to make sure you get it all out. And uh, once it's all clean, then what I do is I oil up the blades because I keep this stored in our basement, which is kind of damp, and I don't want the edge of the cutting blades here to get rusty. So all I do is get a little rag, a little WD-40, and then I just go over each blade. And there's five of them on here, five uh, real blades. And last thing I do is I just keep my brush with the uh, mower so I don't lose it. All I do is just has a handy, handy little hole up there. And I just keep it like that. Put it in the basement and we're done. It doesn't smell. My old mower, when I keep it in the basement, the house would start to smell like gas after a couple days, you know. But this has been uh, really clean. So I've, I've been really happy with this mower. And uh, if you're interested...